Hey y'all, Brian the Divine Healer here. Welcome to the channel. Come on in, welcome. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. Yep, I've been just knocking out these Valentine's readings for y'all like that. Okay. So, Divine Squad, my little subscribers, thank you. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your comments. I absolutely love it. Noobs, that's you, brand new to the channel. Like I said, come on in. We're about to do the the reading. We're about to do the thing, right? We're going to do the thing. And the thing is the cusp of prophecy. So if your birthday was December 18th to the 24th, you, my friends, are a Sagittarius Capricorn cusp. That's right. So, <clears throat> hit the like button, subscribe, become part of the Divine Family. Uh, let's get into your reading. I'm going to pull two cards in the now. Nothing for the future or the past. And those cards represent your duality. That's the balance of yourself, your yin and your yang. Light and dark, masculine, feminine side, right? And then I also lay more cards down to tell you a story. In that story will be your message. After your message, I'll give you two more cards to close out your duality. And that will be your finale. That will be your ending. So, strap up your seatbelt. It's going to get rocky. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyways, it might. I don't know. <laughs> a couple of them are a little spicy today, so... Let's just see what else we can get into. Right. So let me give you these a couple more shuffles and we'll get into how ruffles have ridges. <laughs> I love saying that. Ruffles have ridges. Hey. All right, we'll take you. Well, it looks like it's the Nine of Wands. Yeah. So you're a little wounded right now. Wounded warrior, right? You've... You're battle hardened. You have taken on the enemy and you got beat up a little bit, but you still kicked ass and you're overcome some shit, right? Okay. Here's your next card, right? And that was a choice. You had to make a choice, leave some shit behind and fend off all this kind of stuff to, you know, persevere. All right. So the Two of Swords is a choice. I mean, it could be. It could be about you and somebody else it doesn't have to be a whole bunch of other people i think it's really you and somebody else because the two of swords is choosing right it's making a choice between two and it's you and another person so because you've kind of been in this battered situation uh you still stand strong ready to fight ready to take on more and you and, you, and you've made this choice to overcome this with somebody Getting to the first card of your reading. Here's your first card of the story. Ten of Cups. Yeah. Because you want to be happy, right? You want to be emotionally fulfilled. And whatever you're going on here, it's really not that emotionally fulfilling, obviously, right? So you made a choice for happiness, right? You made a choice for happiness. A blind choice. You just rushed in and said, <laughs> you cleared the tables, right? Here we go. Here's your next card. Because it's your wish fulfillment, right? I mean, it should be everybody's wish fulfillment to be friggin' happy in this world, right? And a lot of people aren't because they, they're just energy vampires, man. Mm -mm -mm. A whole bunch of narcissists in town. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah. You make this blind choice for your own total, com you know, your total wish fulfillment as far as your emotional abundance. And, um, you know, this is what you want. This is what's going to make you happy. Look at that. As soon as you make that choice and you decide to choose happiness, bam, there comes your ace of pentacles. This is my follow yellow brick road. This is a pathway to abundance, right? Stability. However that is going to fit for you. But it looks like emotional abundance. Because even though it's a pentacle, it still can be... Stability and look at the it looks like roots, right? Those look like roots, and I always talk about planting your roots, right? I mean, planting the seeds to make those roots grow strong. Yeah, so those look like roots. So it looks like you're really rooting in this new start for yourself for happiness. And I root for you too, because I want everybody to be happy. Queen of Cups, look at that. Yeah, so you're alone, okay? But you're completely now in control of all your emotions you're like swimming in this happiness right because you just decided you've had enough 
and you don't want to fight anymore so you just kick ass to clear the battlefield and you make the choice to go towards your happiness your wish fulfillment and bam you're completely in top of all your emotions all right two cards bottom to the top because you walked away from shit that wasn't emotionally fulfilling you with this eight of cups so it makes sense if you're gonna battle all the time who wants to do that it's mostly draining and there's your justice so there you go happy valentine's day merry christmas <laughs> that's super sweet yeah it's like an um, uh, almost uh, jumping on rainbows and shit you're that happy because you've overcome this a lot. Whatever this is, it beat you up pretty good. Yeah. Okay, let's get into your next card. Right, so you took a leap of faith towards that. Or you're going to, after this justice is being called. So let's see where you're going to go cliff diving, okay? <clears throat> but hit the like button and subscribe if you're not going. Or if you are, hit the like button anyways. Here you go. Yeah. You're, you're like... Well, okay. I mean, you're loving yourself for sure, right? And it says it all right here. But once you've emotionally cleaned yourself up, we'll say, justice is there for you to get that balance because justice represents balance, law, truth, you know what I mean? And so now here comes the, the, the fool card. So you're about to, like I said, cliff jump. And I think wanting to propose an offer to somebody. Yeah. We'll find out. Let's get some clarity and get another card. Okay. Let's get another card here from my friends and see what's going on. Oh, it's towards the Empress, right? Somebody who's very balanced and unconditional and loving and giving, right? This is who you want to spring this offer on because you want to take a leap of faith towards presenting, which is nice about taking action. Cups is your emotions, and he's got a he's holding some roses. So you want to bring these roses to the Empress. Yeah. And look at this. The Ace of Pentacles is underneath the Empress. That's your new start. That's your stability, because the Empresses are super stable. <laughs> Okay, here comes your next card. And you're manifesting this, right? Because you know why you're manifesting it, my friend? Because you went here and made that blind choice to love yourself. And when you loved yourself, the divine said, here, here's a little present for you. Two hands out here with this, this stability, and the stability is the empress. Unconditional love, stable, nurturing, guided in nature. And that's what you're manifesting. So we got two more cards to the ending. And then we're going to get to the finale, right? The fireworks, right? Let's see this love Valentine's Day reading. Let's see the spread. Bam! What? So that's an end of a heartache, right? End of a heartache. Because it's underneath the Eight of Cups, you're walking away from the heartache that didn't serve you emotionally. This is part of that Nine of Wands of how you got all beat up and whatever you're going through is a bunch of shit. So, psh, those days are over. You're walking away from that. Okay? There's no more heartbreak with this because the Empress don't break hearts. Those people break their own hearts. Okay? <laughs> there you go. So, yeah. You're definitely feeling strong about this you're very secure with this you're very um um i wouldn't say prideful but you're definitely all about um feeling strong that this is going to be uh it's going to work out right it's going to have much success okay so that's the story here comes the outcome here comes your verdict here comes the uh the final answer okay here's your two cards that ends some strife. That ends this conf uh, competition, comp um, strife, competition, uh, arguments, all this that also goes underneath this Nine of Wands. It, it all relates. So the heartbreak, the Nine of Wands, the Five of Wands all relate, right? So that is an ending because fives mean change, right? So that all changes for you. 
because you're manifesting this empress in a brand new start who is your wish fulfillment but you had to make yourself happy first and lose and not lose but get beat up a little bit in the process of getting rid of and done with with all you that you have going on so the knight of wands comes out right so now bam now here comes some passion right now here comes some action taking right mm, wild stallion that's some fire energy for sure so yeah and once this changes now you you're lit up you're on fire so now this relationship is going to be scorching hot it says right in the cards my friends because that has been your reading thank you for your time your energy coming out here on this very uh special valentine's day for y'all so i hope it's a good one for you and you go out in the world need all your chocolates and shit open the door for an old lady with that being said, peace and pray. Happy Valentine's Day.